In the early days, you know, I practiced this. I got that a lot in the 60s. So me being a young lad as I was, you know, obviously being a black lad in London, I had to start fighting at a young age. I started getting involved with gangs. And I didn't really go to school like that often. My younger brother's going to the same school, obviously, because I had a bit of a reputation. You know, they didn't get picked on. So they got the education. And, and you know, I never. I started taking cocaine about 16, 17, and then I started selling cocaine. They end up in prison. I kept going, going there, using all the time, and then end up back in prison again. And that was my, that was my journey for, 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 20, for about 25 years. It was my journey in and out, in and out of prison. And I thought to myself, you know what? You know what I mean? Everyone else is doing well, my brothers or sisters are doing well, and I'm stuck in this, this bubble. This, you know, and I thought to myself, you know what? Nice. I think it's time, it's time to change. I'd done um, basic maths and basic English. 2005, I came out of prison. And I had an order, which is do two years probation, six months treatment, and six months anger management. So I had to really, you know, um, soul search myself. I, for myself, you know, I can't get a job or anything. I thought, you know, why don't I go down the route of, of volunteering? As a volunteer, he did one session a week and then he did a couple of sessions a week for us um, and then got him more involved with the young people on the estate and wanted to take on a bit more project work. So we decided that boxing might be a nice place for him to start. <coughs> he used to do it himself, so he got qualified. I wanted to give something back. But the boxing is like teaching them, like, you know, self-discipline, self-respect. So it's about building them up, you know, so when they leave school, they can be in the world. They asked me that I want to do the level two in youth work, yeah? The course was tough. I subsequently found that he was dyslexic and that he has always had literacy problems. So um, I was brought in to help him get his portfolio together. I passed with level two and that was, a, that was massive. You know, I've been employed as a youth worker for just over a year now. It's challenging, but I love working with young people. I can hold my hand behind there and I can walk for months. <laughs> You know, society today. I want to do my level three, hopefully pass level three, and I don't know, maybe try uni. Learning really and being up here is, you know, has really changed my life. I mean, it's, 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 it's you know, it saved my life.